Hello everybody, it's BuilderDude35, and this week's tutorial is about how to make a motor acceleration my block in EV3G. So here I have opened the EV3 programming software, and I'm going to show you how to construct this acceleration program. The main function of the program relies on variables that are written in red, and so we're going to take out a variable, we're going to put it at right, we're going to start it at zero, and we're going to name it motor power. I already have this variable made, and this motor power is what we're going to use for our acceleration. The next thing we're going to do is take out a loop block, and we're going to set it to count, count, and we're going to set it to 100. Basically, the functioning of the program as it works is it sets the motor power to zero here, and then what it does is it goes into this loop where each time it loops, it's going to increase the motor power by 1%, and you're able to adjust how long the motor spends at each percentage of power, basically how long it takes to get to 100% power. So the next thing that we're going to add is another variable block, this time set to read as opposed to write. So we're going to put read numeric, and then we're going to set it to the same variable as before. Then the next thing we're going to take out is a move tank block, and we're just going to set it to on. And we're going to plug the value tab into the input for the motor power. And so the motor power is going to be set to whatever the value of the variable is. The next step is to take out two more variable blocks here and here, and then put a math block in between the two. The first math block is going to be set to read numeric and set this to our motor power. The second is going to be set to write numeric, also going to be motor power. And you're going to plug the value tab of the first one into the A of this math block, and the result tab is going to be plugged into the right of the same variable. And what this part of the code is doing is it's taking the current value of motor power, adding one to it, then rewriting it as the new motor power value. So when the program loops, loops back around on itself again, the power level is already one higher, and it increases the motor's power by one. The final step is to take a weight block and put it in between the motor block and this variable block here. And this weight block is important because this is what allows you to adjust how long it's going to take the robot to reach 100% power. I understand it seems like the most logical thing to instead have the motor block be on for seconds, and that's what I thought at first, but it doesn't necessarily work that way. It doesn't work correctly when you use that, so you need a separate weight block. So anyway, the rule of thumb for this um, is you enter the, what do you call it, the um, amount of time you want the robot to sit at each percentage of power. It's kind of not exactly a smooth acceleration. It steps up by 1%, but it appears to be smooth. So you set how long it wants to stay at each percentage of power, and the rule of thumb is to multiply this number by 100 to get to the amount of seconds that it's going to spend at e uh, well, uh, getting to 100% power. So in this case, 1 times 100 means it's going to take 100 seconds to get to 100% power. And instead, you can do something like 0 0.1, which means it takes 10% to get to power, or 0 0.01, which means it takes 1 second to get to power, 100% uh, power, or 0 0.05, which means it takes half a second to get to 100% power. And I'll show you what each of these look like right now. And of course, the cool feature in all of this is being able to adjust the time of the acceleration with this little weight block. And keep in mind that after the acceleration is done, it's going to move on to whatever programming that you have placed after this loop block. And if you want to, you can even compress this all into a my block. But that's a story for another tutorial. So now that you know how to make this my block, what is it useful for? Now, the main thing that I had in mind 
when I made this my block was FLL use. Now I prefer to use taller wheels on my FLL robot like I have on Sirius here. The great thing about tall wheels is they make your robot fast but you don't want to have all of that speed right from when you start. Like if you go from 0 to 100% power right away, you're going to get a lot of wheel spin. This acceleration my block is particularly useful in FLL because now you can have your robot instead ramp up its power for one second or a half second and that way you get more accurate um, motion because your robot won't be doing burnouts and losing traction and kind of like skidding all over the place and so it increases the accuracy of your FLL robot but it's of course not restricted to FLL or even a driving mechanism you can use this acceleration my block with anything that requires acceleration from a slower speed to a higher speed or even from a higher speed to a lower speed in the case of deceleration thank you for watching my video this week if you liked it subscribe for more videos like this every week and don't forget that you can suggest a tutorial if you have an idea thank you and I'll see you next time Bye.